Hey guys, my name is Josh Ulrich. I am the Director of Operations and Founder here at Terpene TV, and I'm very proud to announce what I believe is the world's first Terpene video log. We really hope to bring a lot of education and value to the people who watch these videos, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump on in as to why you probably clicked into this video and answer the question, what are terpenes? A terpene is an isolated molecule that is generally in an essential oil or crystallate form. These isolated molecules are inside all plants. All plants have these small molecules which will help determine the taste and aroma of that one plant. So, for example, D-limonene is a terpene, probably one of the most popular terpenes, and it is responsible for that citrusy orange smell that you associate, you know, yourself with an orange. So, an orange contains a very, very high concentration of D-limonene inside of it. That's why it smells like that. Another example would be pinene. Can you guess which plant you know, has a very high amount of pinene? Well, it's pine. If you weren't able to get it, that's okay. We're here to learn. So pinene comes from pine. Um, it's in other plants as well, but piney, or pine has some of the highest concentrations of pinene out of all the other plants. So now that we understand that terpenes are in all these plants and they help determine the scent and the aroma, you know, we're going to ask ourselves, what do they have to do with cannabis? Well, cannabis is literally a magic plant. There's no other way to put it because when you look at oranges and pine, you know, who have very high concentrations of those one singular terpene, maybe a couple others, maybe a dozen or two, cannabis actually has hundreds of terpenes identified inside the plant and it does a lot more than just affect the taste and the aroma of the plant it actually works with something called the entourage effect which we will get into a little bit later on episode two of terpene tv what is the entourage effect but for now we're just really going to stick to what the terpenes actually are so we know they affect smell and taste how does it necessarily affect the actual plant and the person who's ingesting that plant, okay? So, you see cannabis is just cannabis. Sour Diesel, AK-47, Northern Lights, Blue Dream, all of these different strains are still just marijuana at the end of the day. There's really only a few differences inside of those plants. When even though there's only a few differences, they make a huge, drastic change on what these, or how these plants actually affect a person. So, there's three parts to the cannabis plant. One, you have THC, which is going to be your psychoactive ingredient inside of the cannabis, which is associated with that euphoric high feeling, you know. And then the second part is going to be your CBD. Your CBD has been found to, you know, help a lot of ailments like seizures and reducing discomfort and a lot of other medicinal benefits while three, the terpenes actually manipulate how the, your head and body feels when interacting with the THC and the CBD. So an indica dominant strain, that indica couch lock feeling that you associate with like a heavy cush, those are high in myrcene, okay? Myrcene is known to cause that 
you know, couch lock feeling. And that sativa, sativa uplifting feeling that we all get, okay, from smoking like a sour diesel. Those effects are determined by the terpenes inside of each plant. So while the CBDs, the medicinal THCs, the high, the terpenes actually cause all those other effects on your body aside from, you know, what this THC and the CBD does. So I hope I was able to answer the question to this video, what is a terpene? Um, just a quick recap again, terpenes are just molecules inside of plants which determine the aroma. Um, the flavor, and sometimes even the effect that those plants can have on one's body. So here is an example of a product. This is pinene, the one that we've been talking about. And basically, it smells just like pine. Um, and if you'll notice there that, you know, I smelled the cat. Um, you don't need to smell the bottle. It's extremely, extremely concentrated. So, again, if you want a proper smell of any of these, if you order any of these bottles, all you have to do is really smell the cap. Because sometimes if you put your nose directly up to that, it'll be way too overwhelming and not necessarily represent exactly what that true smell is like. Um, again, this is an isolated terpene. Um, very, very different from the blends of isolated terpenes. So, again, Josh Ulrich here. Appreciate you guys watching the very first episode. I know it wasn't too exciting, but I really just wanted to help give a good grasp of what terpenes are. So when we go into our other videos, you know, you aren't completely lost. And after each episode... You know, hopefully by the end of it, you will have a very, very good and confident understanding of what terpenes are and how they affect the body. So catch me on the next episode. Again, Terpene TV episode two. Um, if you ever want to watch any of the videos on Facebook, just do hashtag Terp TV and you'll be able to see all of the videos. We're going to tag them so you can be sure to do that. Also, follow us on Terpene TV or head out, check, check out our website at terpenetv.com and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.